Hello. Um, it is Thursday, which means it's time to do some drawing. And I hope that you're going to join me. Uh, I have some uh, an exciting idea. But first of all, I just want to double check that, in fact, this is working. This seems to be like my traditional thing of starting stuff up. So let's let me just double check and see that it, in fact, is working. OK. Um, here we go. Because maybe you're there. Maybe you're there waiting to talk to me. And I don't know it. So let's find out. Let us find out whether, yes, it would appear that I just got a, a, a notification that, ah, excellent, good. So it's, it's Thursday, it's springtime, it's lunchtime, and it is drawing time. So I don't know about you, but um, I am looking forward to doing some drawing. I've been doing quite a lot of drawing recently because I've been on vacation, and vacation seems to be a good time to, to do some drawing, and um, there are new things to draw. But the vacation that I went on was um, in, you know, not, not, not the most incredibly interesting place. It wasn't like a exotic foreign country. It was basically the coast of Florida, the western coast of Florida, and um, it was the type of vacation where you sort of hang around, lug around by the pool, and, um, you know, read books, and eat snacks, and take a nap, and play cards, and have a drink, and take another nap, one of those kind of things. So I drew a f certain amount from, uh, you know, the, the comfort of my palate, that is to say my chaise long. Um, and, you know, there were palm trees to draw, there were birds, and there were kind of magazines lying around, and I did some drawing on the plane as well. So there was that kind of thing. But it's nice to see you guys. Uh, a few of you have shown up. Luz, Brenda, Marlene, Susan, and Hurdy Gurdy Guy 1. Not to be confused with Hurdy Gurdy Guy 2. From who's having breakfast in the Pacific Northwest. So it's nice to see you all. So listen, today I literally want you to draw with me. So I hope that you have um, a pen and some paper. Um, I have some paper here, a big stack of it. It's not a sketchbook. It is actually some paper that I bought a long time ago from my copier. And it has these, um, you can see it has these holes punched in it. So as a result, it's not very useful. I bought it for a particular project that I never ended up using. So anyway, um, Rachani, nice to see you from Bangkok. It's almost bedtime. Perfect time to draw. Um, Joyce in New Mexico. It is probably morning for you there. So again, perfect time to draw. And uh, Marlene asked if I did all my drawing on the iPad. Yes, I did. You know, the last trip that we took last summer my wife sort of complained about the fact that I monopolized half of our big duffel bag with art supplies. And so I vow that when I go on trips in the future, I'll try to not do that. And my iPad has been a great solution. I've been really enjoying, I've been learning a lot on the iPad, and I've been working on a course, which I hope to share with you on Sketchbook School. Um, I think it's going to be in September, time for my birthday. Who else? Pam in eastern Idaho. Excellent. Uh, Roseanne in Maine. Susan in the Sierra Nevada mountains. And Kimberly, who made it from somewhere. I'm not sure where. So good. So excellent. So anyway, so I have this paper. And what I want to do is um, I want to share a photograph with you. And then I want to do a drawing of that photograph. But here's the trick. I have a whole bunch of these photographs. And we're going to rattle through these very quickly. We're going to spend two, count them, two minutes on each drawing. That's it, two minutes. So you better have limbered up, you know, make sure that you uh, don't pull something as we get ready to do this. That you have, uh, I in fact am so prepared that I even have an extra refill for my Lamy Safari pen that I'm going to be using because you never know you know it could be like one of those NASCAR moments where you need to like change the wheels in the middle of the race it's going to be one of those things so I have that standing by I also have a red pen just in case you never know who else is who else has shown up 
Um, Alice Broadway, I like that name, in England. Um, the kids are sleeping, that's good, or, or at least calm. Um, Jacinta in Moldova, that's that's quite exotic. I didn't, didn't know much about Moldova. Terry in Fort Worth, Texas. Deborah, Georgia. Nellie, Maureen, another Daniel in Fargo. Um, okay, so I'll come back and um, talk to you a little bit more later. But right now we got to start getting ready for this thing because I because I it is I would like to try and go through. 10 to 12 of these. I have no idea where this is going to work. Two minutes is not a long time, but we're going to be drawing portraits. And the portraits that we're going to draw are from a collection of images that I've been amassing for a while. Um, most of them are mug shots. They are old mug shots. Most of them are from the early 20th century up to the 1930s. They are Australian, because Australia is infested with criminals. I hope none of you are Australian, but having lived in Australia, I know. And Australia was, in fact, founded by a large number of criminals. So they have a lot of great mugshots. And mugshots are great, because mugshots are, you know, they're just head-on pictures. And they're kind of, of interesting people, because they're criminals. So you can kind of think about that a bit while you draw them. Like, hmm, I wonder what this person's like. So anyway, so get ready, all right? I will set a timer. I have my paper here, and um, let us go to, let me see here a second, um, we are ready to start, okay, Ooh, here's our first guy, see what I'm saying, interesting looking fellow, don't you think, alright, so you can look at him for a second, I'll give you a second of extra preparation while I uh, just get the timer on my phone going, hello? phone okay and uncap the old lammy um, you know, maybe I can even do a little picture in picture just to be super cool picture in picture of me there I am oh that worked god I'm getting good at this okay are you ready Samuso Sharon Yaboot Cable Claire Van Swaj Nelly Let's get going, okay? One, get those pens ready, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, and start, okay. Boy, this is a rough looking guy, isn't he? That crazy conked hairdo. It's kind of a modern hairdo. You see dudes with this kind of hair all the time now. Um, and draw his other ear and the jacket. Uh, here we go. Real lantern jaw this dude has. Even has a cleft chin, sort of like uh, who's the actor that had a cleft chin? Was it Kirk Douglas? Like that? Yeah. Um, Lammy Safari. I, I love my Lammy Safari. It has. I use a, a really broad nib on it, and uh, it has just such a nice feeling to it as well. All right. Let's just get a few of those hairs in to give me a sense of place. So, okay, so um, that's the edges of his face. And ooh, how much time do I have? I'm just blathering away. I've only got 30 seconds left. Okay. We may have to cheat on this. Let's see. an extra 10 seconds. Sorry, I got to just finish this other eye. That would be crazy. All right, two minutes. Not a long time. We're going to have to discuss this. Is this a good idea? Two minutes. But 
sort of a good looking guy in a weird way. Yeah. There you have him. All right. What do you guys think? Um, two minutes. Lamy Safari Pen, yes. Okay, guys, let's try this again. Let's try it again. Let's try it with a different guy. What have I done? Why, why have I given myself this assignment? It's a little crazy, but okay. Let's try this again. All right. Goodbye, my friend. It's time to replace you with... Here we go. <gasps> this guy looks cool. All right. And go. Faster clip than I did in the last one. Whoa. Pencils down. Wow. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's try it. This, this, I'm getting, I think I'm getting aerobic. I honestly am. All right. Let's see who we have next. <gasps> Lady. Mm -hmm. Set the old timer. Hope you guys are joining me on this. I don't want to just be humiliating myself alone. I want you to know how how uh, painful this can be. She doesn't have as many rough and steady, rough and tumble landmarks as uh, those guys did. So she's a little tougher to find out where her features are. But <laughs> she's a little cross-eyed. Seems to have sort of like a little wedge nose.
Sorry about that. Let's just get rid of her immediately. It's a good thing I have all this cheap paper I'm looking to throw away anyway. All right, let's see who we have next. Ugh, this is a scary looking guy. Scary. Huh, I cheated. I forgot to put on the timer. Huh. All right, well, I'll give myself another 10 seconds. from um was it last winter or the year before where i slipped and hit my face on a bicycle rack outside my building I had to get a bunch of stitches in my head so that's kind of what i looked like briefly <laughs> an unindicted co-conspirator all right let's look at another one hmm all right he's kind of cool I'm going to remember the timer this time. Here we go. Pretty cool and interesting hairstyle. <laughs> All right. 
So, let me take a breather for a second. There's something about drawing really super quickly that makes you unable to even really judge and think about what you're doing. And that can be terrifying, but it can also be a good thing, honestly, because it's almost like your inner critic is still like, wait, wait, what are you doing? And you're almost finished with the drawing by the time you rattle through it. Um, and you kind of don't really think that much about the decisions you're making, you just kind of go with your gut. And it's sort of like doing a blind contour in the sense that you're looking at the picture and your hand is just sort of tracing and going crazy. Um, so, you know, I think it's, it's an interesting exercise. I hope that you're able to do this with me because I think uh, that would be fun. So anyway, let's get rid of this dude and uh, let's see who else we have here. Ah, okay, so let's make a bit more room on them so I can see this, see what she's doing. So this, you may recognize my friend France Belleville Van Stone, who is also um, teaching, coincidentally, um, in uh, People Drawing People, our current course at Sketchbook School. And she's also going to be teaching in a brand new one that we're coming out with um, very soon called That Looks Really Real, which is about drawing realistically, which she's very good at. And I'm not as good at, so I'm looking forward to the class. But here we go. Let's stop jabbering and let's start drawing. Here we go. Two minutes on the clock. Go. I hope you're not watching this. <laughs> and lose friends. Draw them. That was bracing. I think I should probably be checking my heart monitor as I do this. <clears throat> All right, one more. Here we go. Let's try this guy. Oh, look at how awesome that guy is, huh? That is a model. They might, there might be faces like this around nowadays, but there's something very beautiful about the kind of how long ago this drawing is this photograph is taken right and he's a criminal of some kind of one or kind probably an embezzler or something by the looks of him little pince nez pince nez glasses I like that term pince nez
That was good. I don't know that I've completely captured his diabolical stare. Um, but I'm going to draw this guy again some other time and just spend a bit more time doing it because, God, he's, he's good. That is a good looking guy. And what is the deal with this thing that he's got down here? Is that like a. It's not. Is it a kind of a tie? Like some kind of weird. Australian criminal 1920s kind of tie. Seems to be right. All right. Time to uh, lubricate the mechanism. All right, guys. Here we go. what's known as a handsome face. And those eyes, wow. How great is that? She's almost like some kind of an animal, like a bird or something. I could spend this whole two minutes just doing drawing her eyes. Set the timer. Oh no, maybe I didn't. Oh, good. <laughs> like a bullfrog, but all right. Now, this crazy hairstyle of hers. It's all about the eyes with this woman, isn't it? I mean, as it so often is when you're doing a portrait. I'm afraid if she saw this, she would probably poison me or something like that, right? She looks like a poisoner. Killer of some kind. Well. Alright, I think I didn't set the timer. I must not have set the timer because there's no way that that was that, that was the correct amount of time, so. <sighs> crazy babe, crazy lady. Alright, here we go. Let's try the next one. This time I will remember a timer. Oh, look at that dude. Dude. He's a dude. All right. This brillantine hair is really fun to draw, I think, if I had the time to really get into it, um, which I obviously don't, but it's sort of sad eyes, sad but threatening and criminal. Who were these people?
you guys think? There it is, another mug I'm familiar with. My old pal Kosha. Looking like. Not looking like a criminal, looking more like a victim, maybe. You know they say don't draw the teacher in your school book or you'll get in trouble. All right, two more. Look at her. What do you think? Look at those eyes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mournful, but yet somehow sinister.
that was too hard. It was too hard to do her quickly. I don't. I, th I mean, I I could have spent like ten minutes drawing that one eye, and then looking at her um, her nose. You know, it's it has that kind of part of the bottom between her nostrils. It's very interesting, and then the bridge of her nose is interesting. But then the whole business with her eyebrows, the eyebrows, and then those lines in her forehead. To really spend some time thinking about that, she's not an easy person to just kind of render in a few lines. Her, her face is all about, um, you know, all those details, all those little different aspects of it. And I, I don't know, that was, that was interesting, but terrifying. Okay, here we go, one more. Another oddly familiar one. Um, Do you think this is the evil mastermind, perhaps, of the criminal gang, or is it, or is this like the the dopey guy who is the fall guy? Could be either way, right? Did I forget the timer again? Bitch, I did. Timer. Yes, I did. Well, I'm gonna spend a bit more time drawing then. Why not? All right. What do you think? Did you enjoy doing that? Um, I hope I didn't lose you in the process, as you saw the results of my uh, <coughs> of my efforts. Um, so anyway, thanks very much for joining me. I hope you I hope you got a chance to do some drawing like this. If you want, um, I'm trying to think if I could. Well, you could always watch this video again if you want to redraw those guys because they're all obviously going to be in the saved YouTube video, so you could draw them. And if you do, let me know, because I would love to see them if you want to post them somewhere on uh, social media. And um, maybe we should start creating a hashtag, draw with me. It probably exists already. But let's do hashtag draw with me, and then we can see what we're doing. Now, if 
you're a sketchbook school student and I hope that eventually you will be if you aren't already you will get to join the schoolyard which is our um, our social network platform our own proprietary one and um, you could come and join us there and, and share it so sign up for class whatever we have a new one coming up and we also have people drawing people which people drawing people this week we've been doing portraits that's been the subject next week self portraits so I kind of managed to kill two old criminal birds with one stone two Australian birds with one stone um, and you know try this thing of doing the two minute thing it's really the two minute timer just sit on your watch and boom knock it out or do the same drawing multiple times with two minutes and they'll each turn out to be completely different um, and then if you do one that you like try you know continuing from those first two minutes because the two minutes is something there's something freeing about it that I think is really nice you could also try it with a different pen like spend two minutes doing it with maybe a thicker pen or a colored pen and then go in and spend more time doing details and work over you know but me making sure you don't overwork it um so all right cool that was great and i will see you again next week i gotta think of something cool for us to do next week but i hopefully will so again thursday noon eastern standard time here on youtube uh join me bring your pen your sketchbook and let's let's draw together this is really fun thank you so much and uh, see you then it's true.